Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you, if you find any of today's entertainment informative, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. As long as you keep hitting that like and subscribe button, I'll keep making these videos. And if you want to be a hero, hit that bell notification. You'll be notified when a, a new video is uploaded. Now, I've been asked what kind of stock I got in response to my video on crowdfunding. I got asked. What kind of stocks I bought now I actually bought uh, stocks in over 330 companies so I can't put them all on here but I thought I would list uh, one that is relative to COVID-19 and I thought I would list a super spec stock that I'm interested in. And hopefully, if you can be a bit patient with me till the end, you'll see the reason why. First off, the super spec stock. Now, I'm going to show. The super spec stock, Illumina. A US-based company. They have uh, access to CRISPR, a, a gene com company, obviously, gene splicing company. They are one of the few companies, although it says 52 billion market cap, high PE ratio, but with spec plays that most of them do, but it shows they're making a profit. Now, nah. We will see it here. Uh, you know, basically, what they do is they make the equipment that's needed for DNA sequencing, splicing, and where a printer company will sell you ink afterwards these won't just sell you the machines they'll sell you the fluid afterwards as well now then it's not all been good news for them they did have litigation where they were sued by chief scientific officer before in 2005 now seems more of a disgruntled employee that's all over with 2010 uh, Cornell University and Life Technologies filed a lawsuit against them. That got settled in April 2017 without finding any fault. Now, in September 2017, both parties asked to have the settlement reviewed. Now, 2016, Illumina filed a lawsuit against Oxford Nanopore Technologies. And this February, Illumina filed a patent infringement against BGI. Anyway, this isn't the only thing that they do. They actually, uh, sorry, this is something. They actually have a large number of companies. They have they have shares in a large number of companies one of them is a company that jeff bezos has uh shares in and so does uh, bill gates which is a blood test company which has with 99 percent accuracy can detect early stage cancer any type of cancer so 
I just think these have a huge moat around them and they're unknown unless you've been informed about them and I, I expect I expect you should I expect these to be the future to tell the truth Tesla will be the future of transport and space and I think these guys will be the future of medical treatment we've we heard before about a swimmer having a fish gene it is because misuse of CRISPR these guys make sure it's all done properly uh, when I know I was asked if I wanted gene testing uh, make sure everything was okay with my baby before so it's becoming more and more common and I turned it down now on with the one from crowdfunding now this one 2020 gene systems to provide FDA authorized COVID-19 antibody testing now the thing is they they have a blood test which has a sensitivity of 100% and specificity of greater than 99.8% and is basic, basically they have they sell it for $17 and they have managed to recoup uh, over a million dollars from this test alone but this has been in conjunction with uh, Russia Holding now I'm sure you all know who Russia Holding is there you are 75,000 rapid test at the price of $17 a share Russia Diagnostic they're one of the top uh, pharmaceutical companies based in Switzerland I think it's Switzerland yeah. and something that isn't in these uh, releases but something I found out was that they're actually in negotiations with AstraZeneca now we all know about AstraZeneca they're looking for a vaccine no. These guys also do a cancer test as well. I think these guys, a small company who have a great product. That's why I invested in them. Now, ah, this is just going to make them get, give, give them the capital, get bigger and bigger. No, it's not just this. There's plenty of other companies out there. If we can look, uh, ah, there's a uh, stable farmer. Uh, no, nah. stable farmer is a technology when they have the vaccine or the cure they are going to need to take it to all around the world especially third world countries where they don't have electricity or stable electricity a third to a half of all vaccines lose uh, lose th their quality because they can't stay stable and this actually keeps them stable without the need for electricity without the need for refrigeration and there are 50 percent of vaccines wasted due to failures in the cold chain now they i 
and I'm surprised that no one during this has approached them. It's a UK company. I would have thought someone would have approached them and I, oh, I think they just need the right contact to get them to the right drug company and then they'll fly anyway i hope you enjoyed the show if you did leave a comment down below if you didn't leave a comment down below with a reason why and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video